Pisces, it's Nicola. So we'll be working on your weekly read for February 10th through the 16th. What guidance do we have in love for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to be pulling up on your partner, potential partner, ex-partner, whoever is in your surrounding energy and the outcome this week of the situation. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages and guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. What guidance do we have for Pisces? In love, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. February the 10th through the 16th, 2019. All right, so let's see what we got. Mmm, magic. <laughs> it's like magic. It's like magic. So some of you guys may magically be connected. Magically in a relationship because you've had patience, you've nurtured yourself, you've resisted some things, you've resisted not being nurturing to yourself. Someone may be moving forward. Hmm. So you may be independent and may be making a decision to cooperate with someone or making a decision to go towards some type of connection, uh, something that you've manifested. To, it could be a Taurus here, tradition here. could be something traditional. You could have manifested something traditional. Uh, some of you guys are... You're trying to have patience because you've just, you're trying to have patience for your happiness while nurturing yourself. Hmm. Manifesting your own happiness. This is what's going on. You're creating your own happiness. Nine of Pentacles. Creating your own abundance. Moving forward, detaching. Someone may be moving forward as well. Empress here in your highest vibration, King of Wands, focused here. So some of you guys are focused on making the pieces fit within your life. Nine of Swords. There may be some anxiety um, because you're waiting. You're waiting for someone. You're waiting for the will to turn. You're waiting for fortune to turn in your favor. Queen of Pentacles here. You're nurturing yourself at the moment. Evaluating how you're moving forward. Three of Swords. There's a severance that's just connected. It's just happened. So yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So some of you guys, you're manifesting your own happiness after an ending, after a relationship has ended. Four of Wands here. Why is this Four of Wands here? Why is this Four of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, taking your time moving forward. So you're making plans to move forward. You're nurturing yourself. You set your sets higher. You're manifesting your own happiness, taking your time, really making sure that this is what you want moving forward. Knight of Cups could be an offer. Um, you're just nurturing yourself at the moment. You've manifested something traditional, but you're trying to have patience. You're trying to take your time. That is what you're trying to do. You're attempting to take your time. Okay, <laughs> someone may be wanting to do something more challenging, wanting to move towards something more challenging, maybe feeling imbalanced, trying to find a positive resolution. Why is this page of cups here? Could be doing some research here. What's this? Six of swords moving forward. So you, someone could be researching how to move forward, trying to escape um, conflicts, very disappointed, emotionally disappointed. So someone could be, this could be the person that you're moving away from. Or the person that is moving away from you. Um, it could be because of something that was found out. But there is a movement forward here. Um, someone's needing to see something from a different perspective. Maybe needing to go within their emotions. Do some more research. But there is an escaping of a situation here. Six of Swords here. Hierophant. Yes, yeah, someone's moving away from a relationship. Maybe moving toward a Taurus, King of Pentacles. Someone who is... Um, very together. Three of Wands. Maybe trying to have patience. Again, you may be trying to have patience. You're doing research about this person. Maybe uh, you may be kind of on the fence about someone. That's what it is. You're on the fence about this new person. They may have went through some heartache. Um, you 
as well have been through some heartache. You guys may decide to to work on this connection. You may decide to work moving forward here. Just trying to have patience, willing to fight. So this King of Pentacles is willing to fight for your relationships. This Taurus may be willing to fight for your relationship or fight for the connection. They are in balance because they feel as though this is taking too long. Moon card here. The emotions may have taken too long. The focusing on the offer may have taken too long. Um, they may feel as though it has been poor timing. So now they want to move forward. There's a procrastination here. Someone that you're dealing with may have procrastinated moving towards you um, because of some. maybe they were hidden. They could have been hidden. You could have been in a relationship. So now that you've gained your independence, I believe that whatever it is that you've desired is manifesting because there's a positive resolution to that particular conflict of not being able to move forward. Nine of Pentacles lover's card. You could be confident about choosing to work on this partnership now. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Hierophant again. Some of y'all most definitely dealing with the Taurus here. Moon card. Um, three of swords here, ten of pentacles. So you may have gained your independence from a Taurus. Or you may be healing a connection. Healing a relationship. Gained your independence from a relationship. Some of y'all may have gained your independence from a relationship. Moving forward, moon energy here. Secrets, Pisces here. You've gained your independence from a relationship. Making a decision to... Knight of pentacles. Handle your responsibilities. Ace of wands toward this new life. You may be worried about... The fate. Okay, so you're bringing something else into fruition here. Gaining control. Empress, Emperor, Four of Wands. Something happening. You're making a decision to work on a relationship that I'm going to be real with you. This relationship is very um, important within your life. Uh, this relationship is going to bring stability. Emperor, Emperor. You could be working on. You could be trying to manifest working on a relationship, gaining your independence so that you could work toward moving into a relationship. Some of you guys, you've you've healed or you're healing and you're trying to manifest happiness by cooperating with someone. OK, so let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have hmm. for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? What guidance do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Release your ex. Some of you guys are needed to release your ex. <sighs> you're releasing your ex because there's a codependency, but you're reconciling. So I don't know if you're reconciling with the same ex or you're trying to reconcile with the ex that you need to release or there is a reconciliation and then you're going to release your ex because you see some signs. Whatever the case may be, you're manifesting something traditional for you, um, but you may need to be, have patience. You may need to, to wait for your ships to come in. That's all I got, Pisces. Peace.